Hey folks, so I hear you're looking for advice on designing the perfect QPCR experiment. To help you with this, we've designed a special two-part Lab Notes mini-series on assay design and where to start but on our eight tips for primer design. Tip number one, design applicants that are between 70 and 150 uh, base pairs. Why? Shorter sequences can actually amplify with higher efficiency, but it might be difficult to tell them apart from primer dimers. If you're working with the graded samples, however, you may have to settle for that shorter amplicon. Tip number two, design primers that have a GC content between 40 and 60%. Tip number three, avoid sequences with long repeats of a single base. What do I mean by long? Anything more than four is no good. Tip number four, make sure that your primers have a melting temperature between 50 and 65 degrees. There's a lot of online calculators that can help you determine what the melting temperature is. Tip number five, avoid designing primers for regions with secondary structures. Use programs like mFold to look for those structures, and if you have to, move your primers. You don't want them to try to anneal to something like this, do you? Tip number six, if you're working with gene expression in eukaryotic cells, Make use of the entrance and design your primers to span an X and X injunction. That way, it will prevent you from amplifying contaminating genomic DNA. Number seven, seven, seven. Check the sequences of the forward and reverse primers to ensure that there's no three prime complementarity. This could lead actually to primer dimer formation. And final tip, verify your specificity. Use Primer Blast or any other software of your choice to check out your genome of interest. You really don't want to be amplifying multiple sequences in Arabidopsis or anything like that. That's it. I hope this is enough to get you started. If you're going to use hydrolysis probes, uh, don't miss out our next episode on probe design. And if this seems like a lot of work and you'd like to make your life a little easier, check out our pre-designed and validated prime PCR gene expression assays at the BioRad website. For more lab note episodes, check out and subscribe to the BioRad Life Science YouTube channel. And if you have tips or tricks of your own and have a topic that you'd like us to cover, just leave us a note on the YouTube comment section. That's it, folks. Time for me to get back to work.